So this is what I had a moment ago. This is uh, just a blank page. I'm going to have a div in here, which will be the um, the box that gets clicked on for the navigation button. So I'm going to give it an ID to begin with. We're going to change it from ID to class in a minute. I'll explain why. ID equals uh, link div, I'll call it, something like that. And I'm going to have a link in there, ahref equals, and just a placeholder for now. Actually put the proper link in there. This also needs an ID. So this is ID equals link I'm gonna call it link link <laughs> that's a really bad name link link um, and click me will be something good to put there close that off and close off the div as well so just checking what that looks like in here it looks like click me right so it's a link inside a div now I'm gonna dive into the um, CSS for that so it was what I call it link div link div I'm going to set a height and a width so I'll get a box of a particular height height uh, 50 pixels and width 100 pixels and just so I can actually see the thing I'll set a background color on it um, green is nice cool I'm um, then if I if I have a look at how that looks saving that of course <laughs> so is it link div. thank you for your kind assistance that would have taken me a minute to find so I've now got a box the box isn't clickable though the link is clickable the box isn't clickable so I'm just quickly hop back into here so just hop back into here to make that link uh, that div clickable so it was link link wasn't it and what I have to say is display block this is why I'm recording it because this is quite hard to remember but it's just trivial you just do it every time the same and I'm going to say width a hundred percent which means it fills the parent which is the div and height also a hundred percent so then the entire div is filled with that a link and that's all we need to do there so if I save that check it works it didn't did I name it the right thing? Link link uh, is link link. Oh, that's right. Link link display block width hundred percent height hundred percent. Save. Did I not refresh this? Oh yeah. Sorry. There you go. So now the whole box is that same clickable link, which is kind of handy. Doesn't have that hover effect yet so I'm just going to hop into it and give it a hover effect the way that works is um, the link div has got this style right now I can do another one as well and say link div hover it's pretty obvious what I mean by hover that's when I hover the mouse over it so the link div hover gets a slightly different style so I'm going to say background color and that kind of yellowish kind of color that's all I need to put in there save that and go back to here and when I hover over it I get that effect there so that's not too bad at all obviously a typical um, banner or navigation bar has got more than one button so what I want to do is copy and paste that then becomes a little bit of a problem with the the ID. The idea of an ID is you've got one thing that is called that. So it's a, it's a unique name. Quite often though we've got exactly what we've got here where we've got all the buttons and we want them to have the same style. What I've done will work but it's incorrect um, CSS. Instead we use a class. So class and class. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to quickly delete those and copy and paste this one instead. Control C. 
So that works exactly the same. The only difference is I need to hop into the into here, and because it's a class, I say a dot instead of a hash in front. Dot. Dot. There are some other things that I can do, like here the fact that I've got there is my four buttons. It's a nice effect, isn't it? Uh, the fact that the text is the top left instead of being centered and in the middle that's very fixable um, I think you have to set the text height so the link link I think it's text height no it can't be anyway it doesn't matter you can fix that yourselves anyway okay so that's just making quick CSS hover buttons um, and there's other stuff we can do I mean it's pretty obvious I'd want this to float um, left so that it looks more like a navigation bar than a navigation tree that kind of thing but you can work all that stuff out for yourself so find this on YouTube <laughs>